What is up all my chosen ones, Jazz Royce back now. This was a long awaited video, baby, because Vault has finally conducted the migration. Now I'm gonna cut this intro short because we have a lot to cover. Now, before I begin, guys, please smash that like button, smash the subscribe button, hit the notification bell for me, please, and thank you. Now, let's get right into this, guys. So, first of all, looking at Volt's original price, man, $21.5 million market cap, still have been holding the line very, very good the entire way through. Just three days ago, the migration went live, okay? So, I have already converted my tokens into V2, and I got to tell you, it was a very smooth process. It took me no more than roughly two minutes altogether, right? For those that are wondering how to do it, simply you just go right over to where it said Everize.finance. Uh, I went to that, connect the wallet, and that's it. You just put the max amount. All you have to do on your end is just press the button that says max. I'll even try and pull it up for you guys and show you. So it's right over here, guys. Now, I did this on my phone, so I wasn't even on my computer. I was away for the weekend. Connect your wallet up here. Once you do that, it will let you click here and it will show you different tokens to select. You select Vault and you just press max, that's it, to trade the max volume of it. Don't press none of this other stuff, you just press enable. It's gonna charge you like a couple of dollars in gas fees, like four or five bucks, confirm that. Once that's done, then you're gonna do it again and just click migrate. You don't do anything else, you just click migrate. That's where you pay the fees. I paid roughly $52 in gas fees for that. I highly recommend if you're gonna do that, it's better to do it either late at night or early in the morning where there's not as much trading volume going on. So that way you can save more for your buck. Did that, everything went through. I'm now sitting on 7.2 billion tokens. Uh, old contract, it was 7.2 quintillion. So any quintillions will be transferred to billions. And that's gonna lead into the next part of this topic. So shout out to my guy, Pablo, man. One of the guys that watches the show all the time. I appreciate you, man. So he sent me this on the last live stream I had talking about Vault you know, and I want to share this with you guys. So this is what I find interesting. The whole concept is that we're supposed to be eliminating nine zeros, kind of supplied down to around, I think six-ish zeros, give or take. I'm not sure where six zeros will be at. The whole point of it is to pretty much decrease the supply and the supply should be cut to, I believe it was roughly 66 trillion tokens altogether. Now, what I find really good about this is that I believe Shiba Inu has I don't know if it was 396 to 500 trillion tokens, either or. It's a way bigger supply than what we have of Vault now with the V2 contract once that goes live. I know some people were saying that they don't see the value of the tokens. I don't see it either because it wasn't live. The V2, you know, the migration is still going on for this week to give people a chance to get themselves situated. For those that do it after this week, if you migrate your tokens after this week, you are gonna have to wait probably upwards to a month to receive those v2 tokens getting airdropped into your account and yeah I, just, I would just do it as soon as you could that's it and if you haven't bought vault yet i would kind of i don't know what you can do in the meantime me i would just hold off and wait till v2 launches and then just buy it in the v2 contract that's what i would recommend personally i mean just check the telegram to play it more safe now, guys, this is what has me excited about this migration. As we know, the supply is significantly shorter than Shiba Inu. Now, I was told Shiba has around a 500 something trillion supply. What we're going to do right now, I'm going to divide the Shiba Inu supply versus Vault's current new supply on V2. And that's going to let us know how much of a difference in supply there is, because that's what we're going to use to calculate how much value our current Vault tokens could be and what it would take for that. So working out the math real quick, guys, it is roughly a 9x difference in supply, meaning that Volt has nine times less than the supply of what Shiba Inu currently has. And the reason why that's such a big deal is because we're gonna calculate how much valuable our tokens can now be seen as with the new contract migration. So if you look over here, guys, one quintillion is equivalent to one billion tokens. Would this be like having one billion tokens of Shiba? It won't be. It'll actually be better than that. Why? Because we have nine times less of supply than Shiba with the new contract, meaning that your one billion tokens would really be equivalent to nine billion tokens of Shiba when you do the math. So in my current situation, my 7.2 billion times that by nine, that's roughly in the ballpark of being worth 63 billion if we're comparing it to Shiba. Why is that important? Because 
we saw that with Shiba and the current supply that it had, with the major exchange listings that it had, no actual burns occurred like that, but just off the exchange listings and hype and strong community, that was able to get upwards to four zeros, considering it's a, I mean, 500 something trillion token supply. What I want you to do is do the math of how much billions of tokens you have in full, times that by nine, and that number that you get, you're gonna times that by Shiba's original all-time high in May, which is four zeros and a three. And that can give you some type of context on what will happen with your vault tokens when we hit that amount, which keep in mind, it will take us nine times faster to reach those heights than Shiba did because of having nine times less to supply than Shiba. Now, working out the math with Shiba Inu, we saw that it was at a 30 billion, roughly off of a ballpark, 30 billion market cap range at the all-time high in May. Not in October, we know it hit higher, but we're looking at May because that's when it took off from the major exchange listings and things started really getting serious, which is what we're anticipating to see with Vault. Now, the math that I worked out is how much would my tokens, you know, my billions of tokens times nine be at that four zeros and a three. Doesn't mean that's the exact amount your vault token is gonna be worth at four zeros and a three, but it gives you an idea of the market cap range that Shiba was at and what would it be like if vault hit that. So I alone with the tokens I currently have would already be sitting at well over a million dollars cash. And that's with 7 billion tokens at that realm of market cap. Let that sink in guys. The growth here could be very imminent in the value of the tokens that our vault is worth. I am becoming more and more bullish with this project as the days goes on and the more that gets unfolded. Now, what I'm waiting to see next to report on is how the new contract goes when it's public. I tried to look it up the other day after I migrated my tokens, but it wasn't live yet. There's no, it's gonna tell you there's no liquidity as of yet. So we're still in that transitional phase in the migration. So we just gotta hang tight and see guys, but I just wanted to work out a little bit of that math to let you guys in on what has me so bullish with this migration and why I was excited for it to finally arrive. And now we gotta wait and see the three exchanges that were waiting to get revealed to us after the migration, because now we qualify to play in the big leagues. So. With that being said, folks, I'm Jazz Royce. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys, and I will catch each and every one of you guys at the top.